MRD or minimal residual disease or more recently called as measurable residual disease um, is a very attractive concept in a way for patients with CLL. Uh, the regimens we have these days, uh, such as a venetoclax-based regimen, and previously when we were using chemotherapy, uh, certainly there was data that if, a, if you were to become MRD negative, if a patient becomes MRD negative, either in the blood or the bone marrow after receiving chemoimmunotherapy, they had an improved progression-free survival compared to someone who remains MRD positive. With the use of BTK inhibitors, uh, the MRD concept kind of faded away because patients generally do not get MRD negative when they use single-agent BTK inhibitor. But now with the use of venetoclax, approval of venetoclax, as well as combination therapies with venetoclax, we are seeing increasing the number of patients who are now MRD negative. I think from a practical standpoint, um, I think the MRD in a clinical setting could be used uh, for patients uh, who are on venetoclax. And when you're trying to figure out when to stop therapy for these patients, I think uh, I myself have tried to use that in that setting to see if a patient who is um, MRD negative, I think uh, feel more I feel more comfortable stopping therapy at one or two year mark, depending on whether they're frontline or relapsed patient. Uh, for those who are MRD positive, I think that the, is the argument remains what is the appropriate therapy. I don't think we really know that, but I think at least you know that these patients are at high risk of relapse. Traditionally, the MRD is measured with an assay called flow cytometry with a sensitivity of 10 to the power minus four. Uh, more recently, next generation sequencing assays uh, have come along which can measure MRD up to 10 to the power minus six, so one in one million. Um, one such assay uh, is a, a clona sick assay, uh, which we recently received uh, an app approval uh, for, for clinical use for patients with CLL. Uh, I should say that the data with the use of that assay in CLL patients is still limited, uh, but certainly it provides uh, a flexibility and approach uh, to measure very deep level of MRD um, the group, our group had some done some work with the use of chemoimmunotherapy, FCR, where we had shown that patients who achieve that deep level of remission of 10 to the power minus six, uh, their progression free survival is better than if you do not achieve that. But having said that, I think the data with CLL for uh, 10 to the power minus six assays is still limited and it's evolving. And hopefully we'll hear more in the next one to two years as more studies Current ongoing studies have started to incorporate next generation sequencing assays uh, with the sensitivity of 10 to the power minus six. So once those studies are reported, hopefully we'll have better uh, input or better understanding of how to use that data.